bracket racing for non-drag racers. A couple more things worth mentioning. Um, especially in my videos, some of the terminology, some of the things that maybe me and the old man are saying to each other. Just to run through a couple things, should know what a breakout is now. A breakout, of course, is when you're, uh, you go faster than what you dialed on your car. Uh, that's one of the two ways you can disqualify yourself out of the race. You know, directly related to the dial-in. Now the dial-in is, I have that little dial-in board on the side of my car. Um, you might you might hear in some of the videos like, oh man, he took too much stripe, or uh, or he ran a good stripe, or something like that. What we mean by that is, uh, how good are they are they running that wheel out of the big end on the finish line? Are they beating him by this much? If they beat him by this much, just inches, that's running a really good stripe. They just barely got there first. That's what you want to happen so that you're not going to be breaking out. If we say that he took too much stripe, that means he basically went way blown by the guy and, and didn't get on the brakes good enough, or maybe he was out ahead way too far and the other guy wasn't even going to be close to getting to him. Uh, he should have got on the brakes, but he didn't. He took too much stripe. Most likely, if you're taking too much stripe, you're breaking out and you're losing. So you don't want to take too much stripe. You want to take that much. All right, we pushed him out, or somebody pushed him out. Um, we it just had a good enough light that we were able to push him out or something like that. That one's a, a little bit tricky. So what that what that ends up meaning is I need my cars. So pushing him out, that scenario typically happens when um, you're the faster car. You, you're coming down the track, say I'm the blue car, so I'm the faster car. This is the 10 second car, this is the eight second car. Coming down the track, now at, a point, at about this point, I'm realizing in this blue car that, hey, I'm not gonna get there, I'm probably I maybe got treed, maybe I'm at a disadvantage on the tree, or maybe my car is slowing down and I didn't quite have my dial in right, or something like that, but I'm coming to the realization that I'm not gonna get to the finish line first. The other guy does not realize that he's not gonna get there. The other guy still thinks he's gonna get there, he's gonna keep it pinned, and this guy's just trying to push him out, and he, what push him out means is like get him to stay on the throttle enough so that he breaks out. That one's kind of tricky, but this guy realizes that he's not going to get to the finish line first, but he's doing all, all that he can to make it look as close as possible so that this guy doesn't get on the brakes and he actually stays on the throttle, goes across the finish line first, but breaks out. This guy's kind of just living on a prayer, uh, hoping that the other guy's going to break out. And uh, if it all works out right, then he pushed him out, he pushed him out to a breakout. I don't know if that was a super great explanation, but now you know uh, kind of what pushing him out means. Now, if we say something like, yeah, he took 003 or uh, he took a 10 stripe or something like that, what we're talking about is the margin of victory. So that's the amount of time. So like if he took 003, got to the finish line first by .003 or three thousandths of a second. So that's what we mean when we're saying like we took a number at the finish line. When it comes to your dial-ins, you might hear that we're saying that we're dead on or we're on with a two or on with an eight or something like that. What that means is that we ended up running exactly what we predicted on our dial-in. So say I, I put a dial-in of an 805 on the side of my car. If I ran an 8052, that would mean that I ran dead on with a two. When it comes to reaction times, there's also some terminology, 001, 002, Anything like that, that means that we're basically having a one or a two thousand second reaction time, uh, respectively. So if you if you hear us saying like, yeah, they were double O, that means basically they had a really good reaction time and they most likely had the advantage going down the track. On the other hand, if you got somebody saying like, yeah, I was dead late or I was, you know, I was late on the tree, that most likely means they, they had a bad reaction time uh, and a bad reaction time could be really bad. It could be like, at least in our class, a bad reaction time is going to be like, a 25 or higher, so like 0 .025 um, or worse for a reaction time. You might hear people saying that they were late, so. One thing that I haven't talked about yet is actually delay boxes. So there's two main classes in bracket racing. One of them is called top, and the other one's called mod. Top ET and mod ET are the two primary classes in bracket racing. At Thunder Valley, again, Thunder Valley has to be different than any other track in the world. And uh, we run in actually a third class, and it's basically they just took the top ET class and they broke it up between door cars and dragsters. So they have top ET, which is the door car class, and they have top dragster, which is the exact same class, only it's a, only dragsters. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're the only track in the country or the world that does that. Mod ET 
is a class basically where they cannot have electronics and they cannot have what is called a delay box. Top ET is a class where you can have a delay box. And what is a delay box? A delay box is basically a small computer, a small timer box that allows you to react off of the top bulb on the Christmas tree. In Mod ET, you cannot have this delay box and what they're forced to do is launch their car right as that green light is coming on. In Top ET, what we have is a button in our car called the trans brake button. And uh, for most people, what they do, if you hold down that button, it actuates a little solenoid on the transmission, it actually locks the transmission so that you can floor the car and it's not gonna move. When you let go of that button, the car is gonna launch. Add a delay box in between that button and that solenoid, and it's gonna put an amount of time that it has to run through before it launches the car. So with the delay box, say you're holding that button and I put one second of delay into the delay box. I floor the car, let go of the button, car is not gonna launch until that one second of delay goes through. And that amount of delay is adjustable right on the screen of the delay box. That's what we're talking about when we say delay boxes. The reason that you would want a delay box is because that way you can kind of adjust how fast your car is reacting and what pretty much everybody does is they put the amount of delay in there so that they can actually react off of that top yellow bulb instead of having to wait for the third yellow bulb or the green light to come on. A human is way more consistent at reacting to the first flash rather than anticipating the three flashes coming down. It kind of, you know, seems a little bit opposite of that. If you're just thinking about it, you'd think that you'd be able to react a lot better um, having a warning with it coming down. But humans are way more consistent. It's just kind of like scientifically proven that you're way more consistent at reacting to the very, very first flash. So that's what the top class does. Uh, we run delay in there so that we can actually react off the top bulb and then the car will cycle through the delay as the tree is coming down and then launch the car after that amount of delay that we program in there uh, expires. So. That's kind of what we're talking about when we're talking about delay. So there you have it. That's pretty much my rundown on uh, bracket racing for non-drag racer people. I hope that uh, makes a little bit more sense. Hopefully you can go back and watch some of those gall stars now and um, you know be able to make heads or tails out of it at least. I'm sure I missed something. I'm sure that uh, there's still some stuff that's not very clear. So make sure you leave it down in the comments if I missed something. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the videos and I'll see you next time. Thanks.